Hey there, exciting news just dropped about the upcoming iPhone SE 4. A complete specification sheet has leaked online, and it's packed with some serious upgrades that could make this budget-friendly model feel a lot more like a flagship device. So, let's dive into what we can expect when it launches, likely around early 2025, think March. First off, the iPhone SE 4 is gearing up to feature Apple's powerful i18 chip, the same one that's currently rocking the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus. This is a major leap from the A15 chip and the 4 gigs of RAM found in the SE 3, bumping up to a solid 8 gigs of RAM and a starting internal storage option of 128 gigs. With these upgrades, you can expect lightning fast performance and a smoother experience. Especially when it comes to those A-driven features, Apple is set to roll out across its devices soon. Now let's get into the juicy details. Tech tipster John Prosser, known for his accurate leaks, spilled the beans on X, and here's what he had to say. The SE4 will rock that new A18 chip along with 8 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, which means it's ready to handle advanced AI tasks like a champ. If you're looking for top-tier features without breaking the bank, this could be your new go-to. But that's not all. The SE Ford is said to come with a stunning 6.06-inch OLED display, stepping up from the SE 3's 4.7-inch LCD. We're talking a resolution of 2532 by 1170, with peak brightness hitting around 800 nits and featuring that tough ceramic shield upgrade we all love. Just a heads up, though, while 800 nits is pretty decent, it might struggle a bit in direct sunlight. A peak brightness of 1200 nits would be ideal to keep things clear and easy to see outdoors, especially for gaming or streaming videos. Higher brightness levels are becoming standard in budget smartphones, so it would be a smart move for Apple to consider this. Speaking of displays, this high-res screen will definitely boost the color quality, contrast, and overall visual experience, aligning the SE 4 closer to the iPhone 14 standards. Plus, say goodbye to the traditional home button. The SE 4 will embrace Face ID and gesture-based navigation, bringing it more in line with Apple's flagship models. And with a larger screen and an enhanced battery, expect the SE 4 to weigh around 165 grams, just a bit heavier than its predecessor. Now, let's talk cameras. The SE 4 is rumored to include a single 48 megapixel rear camera, a sweet upgrade from the SE 3's 12 megapixel sensor. This means better photo quality, especially in low light situations, and there's also a 12 megapixel front camera perfect for those selfies and video calls. On the connectivity front, we'll see Wi-Fi 6 support for faster and more reliable internet, plus an IP68 rating that means your phone can handle being submerged in up to 1.5 meters of water for 30 minutes. Pretty cool, right? It'll also be dust resistant, so it should hold up well over time. As for battery life, the SE4 is expected to pack a 3279 mAh battery, a significant upgrade from the SE3's 2018. This means about 64% more power to keep you going longer. You'll have support for wired charging up to 20 watts, and can also enjoy MagSafe wireless charging at 15 watts. Now, onto the price. Rumors suggest the starting price will be around $499, potentially going up to $549. Sure, that's a bit of a bump, but considering the advanced chipset, bigger OLED display, and enhanced camera, it still keeps the SE4 as Apple's most budget-friendly option. It's perfect for those who want flagship-level features without the flagship price tag. In short, the iPhone SE4 looks like it's set to shake things up in Apple's lineup, offering a modern design and powerful features that are more accessible than ever. So, what do you think about all these exciting updates? Are you looking forward to the launch? Let us know in the comments below. And hey, if you want to keep up with all the latest tech updates and exclusive content, I've started a Telegram channel just for you, where you'll get the update and the 4K wallpapers too. The link is in the description, so don't miss out. Until next time, take care.